So here we got the the Mighty Demon 750. Um, it's a um, kind of re revised version of the classic Holly double pumper four barrel carb mechanical secondaries. So I'm going to show you guys how I set it up. Um, jetting, um, accelerator pump nozzles, um, you know, s um, setting float levels, um, accelerator pump, adjusting the, the linkage and got the fuel inlet kit right here. And then, you know, I got my jets. Um, I up the shooters whatever it's in right now it's too small so I up it to uh, 40,000 shooters and I run a, on the primary around 79 main and 85 secondaries um, primary has the um, the power valve which um, when you when the vacuum drops it opens and it um, it's it's about like eight jet sizes so that's why I go with a 79. Uh, so when that opens, that's like roughly like a 85, which is in a secondary. So when you're at the drag strip, you're wide open throttle anyway. So yeah, so let's open it up. So we're just gonna take out the float balls. Eight millimeter. Step. And make sure you use the right um, size screwdriver. Make sure it gets in the slots all the way. Seventy nine in the primary. So it looks like we got 76s stock. Okay, float ball screws is 50 inch pounds.
and we just do the same for the back and I'm gonna jet down up to um, 85 and the rear head they have a jet extension so it's good to hold it while you remove the jets and you just grab some 85s and I'll screw it in and look like the the stock ones in the rear is 85 so or 84 so close I'm gonna replace them with 85s and you can hold it with a wrench it's eight millimeter but screwing it in I'll just screw it in and you just take out these and make sure you take out the gaskets and these are if you run the um, different style um, fuel line these have AN fittings. I don't have AN wrenches, so I'm just going to snug them down. Snug them down. I'm changing the shooters to forties. you got the gaskets and I found that using the, the stock um, the stock screws um, I tried the ones with the hole inside for the more more flow but seems like the the squirt um, wasn't as strong so I just went back to the just the stock ones without the the hole in the screw I just want to snug them and same for their secondary side okay and mixture screws for my combination, it's a 3D3 stroker. I run it two out. Um, before I was having problems with, um, I would run it two and a half out on all of the air bleeds and it's still like when I would kind of just get on it part throttle, it would kind of like want to die out. So what I had to do with my the old carburetor, which was a BG Sport Claw, I would have to, I believe these are the, the outer ones are the idle air bleeds, I would have to uh, it was press in bleeds so I would have to um, put in uh, inserts uh, restrictors that would um, uh, smaller orifice so um, let, let less air in so riching out riching out the idle mixture and then it ran, ran better that way so but right now uh, two out is ideal on, on all four corners one and two so everything is set um, and then one, once you get it on the car and then um, set the idle and um, you, then you can adjust the um, make make sure you take out any slop from the, the accelerator pump arm but also make sure that um, you have it all the way up as much as possible so you you um still use all of the shot and you, you're not you're not like halfway th through the travel um but you don't want any slack to if you have a, um, a gap when you first hit the throttle you have a, a lag because it won't, won't uh, squirt immediately so 
when we fire it up, we can set the floats and set all of that with the idle. And look like both both of the primary and secondary the shooters are 31s. So where's my 31s? Right there. Got a lot of 31s. So I connect all the fittings and I just snug it down and I'll just let it sit like that so it can uh, take shape and then I'll mount it on the car. Don't forget your fire extinguisher just in case. Priming the bulls here. It's a contact lens bottle. With a mechanical pump, you gotta prime it unless you're gonna be cranking forever for the fuel to fill the bulls. And then you just prime the accelerator pump. Okay. Now we try to crank them. Here we go. First start. So you like um, you want the fuel about halfway up the side glass. You can see the rear is a little bit high, so I'm gonna go drop it down. So you just loosen the the top screw and then you um, you turn the five eighths on nut in to lower. And then if you want it to raise it, you go uh, counterclockwise to bring the fuel level up. And you when you um, lower it you gotta wait a little while for a correct reading because you're gonna you need it to the engine to consume the fuel uh, when you raise it, um, it it's kind of instantaneous but when you lower it you gotta wait until the end let the engine run a little while and then recheck